Am I the asshole for telling my husband off for expecting me to prepare his bags? My husband works full time while I'm a stay at home mom with three kids. He splits child care 40 sixtieths but lets me handle 100 hundredths of household chores from cleaning, cooking, vacuuming to shopping and whatnot, saying it's my duty in replacement of work hours. We were okay with these arrangements. But days ago his mom invited him to his sister's wedding. She didn't invite me because the wedding is allegedly child free. But I guessed it was because of a fight we had four months ago over what school my eldest should attend. I was hurt since I love sister-in-law. My husband said his mom is basically paying for the wedding and the list she had for the uninvited is longer than the one she had for the invited. He advised me to not get too worked up over it and just focus on the kids while he's gone. The night before his flight he asked that I put his things together and tossed me a list of what he needed. I gave it back and said I won't do it. He was puzzled asking why. I told him I was tired and went upstairs to sleep in the bedroom. Moments later he barged in calling me petty for basically refusing to help him pack just because I wasn't going to. He said, your problem is with my mom not me. I told him why should I prepare his bags. He said because he's busy and because I always do it. I said yes but why should I do it this time. He said because of four letters, psalm, and it's essentially part of my household chores. I told him off, said I won't do it end of story and went back to sleep. He threw a three maline fit then walked out then came back and turned the light on at 3 a.m. to pack preventing me from sleeping. I told him this was pathetic and he said he's no match to how petty I am and ignored when I told him to turn the lights off repeatedly. He went to the wedding, now he's back looking agitated most of the time and keeping on complaining about the stance I took. Am I the asshole for not preparing the bags? Not the asshole. Your husband's been treating you like crap for a long time. A psalm with three kids should not be doing 100% of household chores. And packing up your husband's clothes is not a household chore, that's basic taking care of yourself. He's essentially claiming that he's one of the children and you're his mommy too. Also, not inviting you because the wedding is child-free? You're not a child. He doesn't stand up for you to his family and treats you like a maid. It's not a good look. You are his wife, the mother of his children, not an indentured servant. Y'all need therapy, and you need an exit strategy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. In my opinion, he shouldn't have even gone to the wedding. But again my opinion. Psalm doesn't not spell out servant. You do household chores. That doesn't include packing for a trip you aren't taking. You aren't his mother, a babysitter, etc. And like I said, he shouldn't be going while you weren't invited. And expecting you to pack for him on top of it. A stay-at-home mom is supposed to take care of the kids. Not the asshole. Not the asshole psalm or not, you're not his servant. He's an adult and can pack his own bag. And hash x200b. Also, related but unrelated, why is his mother having any say on what school your eldest child attends, unless I read that wrong? I just don't get why someone is holding that against you re. A wedding invite. Very petty. Not the asshole. The only reason he can even have a career is because you're providing free childcare, free meal planning, free housekeeping, free cleaning services, free cooking. He should be paying you two-thirds of his wages because you do a lot more work than he does. Instead, he treats you like shit. Why do you stay married to someone who has absolutely no respect for you? Am I the asshole for letting my daughter get a nose job? My daughter, 16F, has had breathing issues most of her life and I have chronic sinusitis. Neither of us can breath though our noses when lying down. She did allergy testing, tried nasal sprays, neti pot, air purifier, etc etc and nothing helped. After a while she was losing sleep due to not being able to breath so we brought her to an aunt who suggested turbinate reduction and septoplasty. He did warn us that the surgery could make her nose look wider and she was afraid of that but agreed to do it because she couldn't handle not being able to breath. The healing from the surgery was hell but afterwards she could breath significantly better. The surgery did make her nose much wider and it didn't fit her face as well compared to her pre-surgery nose. She complained and hated her nose but my husband and I told her to give it some time. After two years she asked us for a rhinoplasty to get her nose back to pre-surgery shape for her birthday and I agreed. My husband was very against it and told us only sluts get rhinoplasty and he won't let our daughter get plastic surgery. We had lots of fights until I just took her to get her nose fixed. In my mind it's not really a cosmetic procedure if it's to correct what the previous surgery caused. 
Surgery went well and she likes her new nose but my husband tells her she is ugly now because she got plastic surgery and she has cried and yelled at him for it. I probably should have known he would react like this because he is very conservative and against all plastic surgery. Not the asshole, your husband used that term? And now he calls her ugly? Nobody, I mean nobody speaks to my daughter like that, I don't care if he is her father. That would be the end of that, your daughter does not need that man in her life. Not the asshole for this event but you are in total for marrying this prize. My husband was very against it and told us only sluts get rhinoplasty. He thinks your daughter is a slut. He said that to your face. Not the asshole. And your husband is a major fucking asshole. Only sluts get nose jobs. Seriously fuck him. Not the asshole. But, your husband. You are the asshole for not divorcing him. Good lord. Slut? WTF? Did you get your husband out of a 1950s catalog? Send him back. Dot. Not the asshole. But consider some low-key therapy for your daughter to boost her confidence for the next few years because that monster you married is going to tear her down until she hightails it out of there. Possibly throwing you in when she goes no contact. ETA. Humble thanks for the award. Hugging face. Only sluts get rhinoplasty? What a misogynist a hole. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for suggesting that my husband hires a maid instead of me staying home? My husband and I both work full time. He recently got a promotion and he now makes twice what I do. Since he got the promotion, he has been pressuring me to quit my job and be a full time housewife. The reason that my husband is into this idea is because that would make me responsible for all the cooking and cleaning. Right now we split chores evenly since we both work similar hours, and I like that arrangement. My husband is not a fan. He hates having to do chores around the house. I admit that I would love to not have to work, but the trade-off being offered is not appealing to me. I suggested that my husband should use some of the extra income to hire a maid service, and then neither of us would have to do the chores. He accused me of just wanting to coast off of his money without doing anything, and has been annoyed all morning that I suggested it. Am I the asshole? Do not quit your job. Hiring a cleaning service while you work is coasting off his money. Yet he wants you to give up your source of income and depend on his money? This is a man who wants to trap you, with no financials, no job, entirely dependent on him. Location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag, not the asshole. Coasting off his money? Whoa. Them's fighting words. Don't quit your job unless you don't mind being his personal slave. Do you have your own money set aside in a separate account? If not I would start to stash some away right now. If this man loves you he has a funny way of showing it. Pay attention to this red flag and make sure you yourself are financially secure in case your marriage deteriorates. Edit. Not the asshole. Just wanting to coast off his money? Definitely don't quit your job. He would make you beg him for any scrape of money or item you needed. Maybe it's time to reevaluate the relationship. He doesn't sound very nice. How would that work with separate finances? He giving you pocket money? You asking for permission to buy clothes, get a haircut or buy something like a new phone. Dot. Without a reason like sickness or children, I would never getting depended on someone out of free will. Dot. It is outright dangerous for you. Not the asshole. He sounds he wants whatever caveman status he gets for having a bang mate to go with his promotion. Not the asshole. Do you two have a shared account? Cause if so then technically you're both paying for the maid to cover both of your chores. If not, then offer to cover half or so since technically it'd absolve you of your chores as well. Am I the asshole for dropping out of my mo role just few weeks before the wedding? My, 25 female, best friend of 12 years, 25 female, is getting married in 3 weeks. I was supposed to be her mo but I dropped out of the role last week and before you judge me let me explain why. My best friend has been with her fiancé since they were both 19. A little before she got with her fiancé she had a short fling with my brother, 29 male. It wasn't a serious relationship and before the fling started she made sure I was okay with it and it wouldn't affect our friendship at all and I assured her that the only way this would affect our friendship would be if she cheated on my brother in case they were in a committed relationship. To my knowledge they were never in a committed relationship and they were just a fling for few weeks. Even after the fling ended and after months my BFF got with her now fiancé, my brother and her were friendly. They barely spoke but they weren't hostile towards each other. So few days before I dropped out of my mo role my brother revealed to me about how he had admitted he's in love with my best friend back then. 
He says he's always been bitter about how she dropped him to get with her current fiancé and how she was very mean when she rejected him. When he admitted his feelings to her she basically told him that they're nothing more than just a fling and there's not going to be anything more between them. My brother told me she was very mean to him and told him he's not her type in the slightest and he's not the kind of man she'd be in a committed relationship with. He felt she used him as a placeholder until she got with her current fiancé. Now look. She's my best friend but he's my brother. And I can't imagine siding with a person who hurt my brother like that. For all these years I thought they ended their fling in amicable terms but apparently not. I can't be a mo at a wedding of a relationship which left my brother heartbroken. So I dropped out. I told my BFF the exact reason why and she was furious. She said my brother is stuck on the past and the only reason she didn't tell me was because she didn't want to put me in an awkward position since it's my brother. She said my brother and I are ridiculous for holding something that happened six years ago against her and how I'm basically an asshole for dropping out over something so petty and minor just few weeks from the most important moment of hers. I don't think it was minor at all. She hurt my brother. I could care less about her perfect day. Am I the asshole? You are the asshole, and so is your brother. So you're ending your 12-year relationship with your best friend solely because she didn't have the same feelings for your brother as he had for her six years ago? He could have told you this at any time, but right before the wedding so she has to sweat about it? Dropping out doesn't make you a good sister. It does make you a bad friend. You are the asshole. This timing is hugely manipulative of your brother and I'm not surprised she dumped him if that's a true reflection of his character. It sounds to me like she was upfront and honest with him about the exact nature of their relationship, as she was with you, and he didn't like that boundary. I always worry about men who try to burn other people because they didn't like being told they can't have something. Dropping out now, for this reason, is horrible and mean. You are the asshole. Your friend was just being honest nothing she said was mean. Your brother needs to get over it and you are a bad friend. You are the asshole for letting your brother manipulate you into betraying your BFF simply because he's jealous of her now being completely outside of his reach, hopes. Your brother played you because he's still stuck on your BFF. You are the asshole. It sounds like he's bitter because she was honest about different expectations. He wanted romance long term. She wanted fling. He got pissy about that. And holds a grudge for six years. And then uses you to get revenge. Dropping out of the mo role seems a bit extreme. It doesn't sound like she was that mean to him if those were the words she used and it sounds more that your brother is just hurt over being dumped and hasn't gotten over it. She sounds honorable for checking with you before she started the relationship with your brother so I think she seems like a good person. Forgive and forget, be her friend and celebrate her wedding with her.